Right team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to look at number, uh, this is number 37 on the general curriculum math subtest. We're going to take a closer look at this problem and find out ways to uh, work with this. It involves uh, translations. And we're going to, translation is, involves moving a shape in space. There's a variety of different types of translations. Um, but in this problem right here, we're going to be focusing on two types of translations. So, number 37, use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. And then it gives us, um, it gives us, the, it gives us a diagram, that the hand here with the finger pointing up. It says, if the image of a pointing hand in the graph above is rotated 180 degrees about the origin and then reflected across the x-axis, which of the following graphs will result? Well, we should talk about these two key ideas here, which is, um, I don't know if you can see this on, uh, on your screen, but uh, if I zoomed in a little bit, zoomed in on this right here, I want to make sure you can see the language. We're going to be dealing with rotations and reflections. You can't really, that really doesn't help, does it? All right. Go back. Um, what is the difference between, if we're just focusing in on this, what is, you know, we're, we're dealing with a rotation of 180 degrees and a reflection. So imagine I was taking this shape. I've got to imagine what it would look like if I rotated 180 degrees. So if we think of a circle, the circle is made up of 360 degrees, right? The full circle going all the way around is 360. So halfway around would be 180. All right. So I'm going to be shifting this all the way around. Now, I think it helps to imagine, I think it helps to draw this out. I want to, I want to move this, let's start with just a 90 degree rotation. Let's see, the finger starts at the top, so now it's more closer to, uh, here's the thumb, now it's more closer to right here. And that is not the middle finger, that is the index finger. Um, that's 90 degree rotation. Now I move it again. Now it goes from pointing this way to sort of pointing down here. So I moved it 90 degrees and then I moved it 180 degrees. I could move it again if I wanted to 270 degrees, or I could do the full 360, and that would get me to the top one. But I'm only doing two, two uh, rotations of 90, so that would be one quadrant and then the second quadrant. 180 degrees usually means it's, it's totally flipped. So that means I'm going from here to here in a new quadrant, pointing a whole other direction. That's the rotation portion. Now it talks about a reflection. A reflection, a reflection would be if I took this right here and I flipped this image like a mirror directly over the y-axis or the x-axis. And that would, that would get me to this one right here. That is a complete rotation around that axis. So my answer choice, oops, my answer choice would be C. Let's take a moment, let's review, let's review uh, this right here, okay? This can be very tricky. Here's my image. Now this isn't, this isn't going to be perfect because technically, uh, I want it to be rotating on this point here, but let's imagine I, I rotate this. So right now this is rotating. Oh, that was actually accurate. It's rotating 90 degrees. Let's do 180 degree rotation. 180 degree rotation. You could do. I could do it. I could do it. That's 180. So there, we have our. We have that first rotation. Now can I flip this? I have no clue how to do that on this computer. So anyways, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, so let's just go back to 180. 
180 is not only flipped, but it's in the opposite quadrant as the first one. And it's, you know, it's like a opposite, um, it's like the, the opposite of it. Now if we did 270, that's this one right here. And 180, come on 180, come on. It gets me back to the start. I used to, when I used to do this, uh, I would recommend with teachers when it was written based, I'd be like, use your license. Use your license here. You have a nice picture of yourself on the license. And I would say, practice this with your license. What would happen if you flipped your license? Well, when you redo this, the picture is closest to the line. So that would be right here, right? And if I flipped it again, it would be right here. Notice that these two images, you know, the top one and the bottom one, they're, opposites each other. they're opposite each other. So this one right here, that looks like this, and this one right here, oops, that one kind of looks, it should be opposite of it. And then I flip it again. A reflection, a reflection is when you take the whole thing, you flip it over, and that gets you your reflection. Oops, I didn't do that right. A reflection, let's, uh, reflection, uh, let's say we do the reflection over here. All right, this is going to come out tragically. It would be something like that. So I want you to try this. Use your license. Get a piece of paper. Practice this. Practice this with a couple of. Um, practice this with a couple of different uh, shapes. Okay, you can. All you need to do is get a piece of paper, draw a coordinate grid, practice with a pencil, rotating that pencil on that grid. I'm really serious on this something like that right there. When it rotates it, oh, the corner that's at the, uh, almost think about a nail going into that object. So that corner stays always, doesn't even move. You could also, you could also, also test this out with your license. See how, see what happens when you, see what happens when you rotate your license and how that picture is uh, repositioned every time you rotate it. Um, and this way you, you get some practice with rotations and you get more familiar with this translation portion of it. Okay, and I think I actually, uh, the picture should be up here. Yeah, that's right. All right, team, I hope you found this helpful. Um, again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Uh, keep on checking out the Harvard Square MTEL Math workshops. Um, or go to, go to the GoMath website and you can find out more information all about um, the different types of tutoring that we have if you need some extra help. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.